We start things off as we start things off every week with your national days of the week. I I had a little lapse in memory. I like to do them from Monday to Sunday, but for some reason I don't think I captured Sunday last Sunday. So uh, let's get started with reminding you that today... Yeah, I do these in advance of so that you know throughout the week things that you could do to brighten your day based on the national calendar. But uh, I don't think I covered last Sunday, which is today, Sunday. Today is National Single Working Women Day. And I don't know of a more target-rich environment for single working women than your local strip club. So uh, what I'm saying is celebrate National Single Working Women Day at your local strip club today, the 4th of August. On the 5th of August, it's National Dash Cam Day. Look, ladies and gentlemen, the, uh, the future is here. You don't have to be a police officer to own a dash cam anymore. I highly recommend them. Be sure you get one with a forward-facing camera and a rear-facing camera. The camera facing back at you will, uh, in accordance with the Schrodinger effect, will affect your behavior. You will, you will be on your best behavior when your own in-car camera is looking at you because you can see yourself And you could see yourself being stupid. And you don't want to be stupid. If something were to happen to you and the last memory anybody has is what's on that chip, you you don't want to be the idiot. So, yeah, National Dash Camp Day, that's the 5th of August. The 6th of August, I debated about this one. I'm going to go with it. Because if uh, those who fail to remember history are doomed to repeat it, right? 6th of August, National Hiroshima Day. Uh, you can have your own thoughts on what, uh, yeah, all about Hiroshima. Um, it uh, it helped end a very ruthless war. And did you know that we dropped hundreds of thousands of leaflets all over the city saying we're going to bomb this city? You should probably leave. Do you know that? It's a little piece of American history they forget to tell you. They also don't tell you other things like, we bombed a lot of cities during the war. Not just one or two. And we did it with a bunch of little bombs, and we killed a lot of people because that's what you do in war. That's how you win a war. You give your enemy a choice. Surrender or face extinction. National Hiroshima Day, the 6th of August. On the 7th... On the 7th, it is National Purple Heart Day. The Purple Heart, America's oldest medal, uh, designed by George Washington himself, is, is given to those who are injured by the enemy in combat. Um, have there been Purple Heart recipients that shouldn't have been given Purple Hearts? Absolutely. But the... We all have our heroes. Mine was Gunner Eck. Uh, Gunner Eck is a Vietnam vet that I knew early on in my career. And he had three Purple Hearts. I, did, I only saw him in his khakis one day, and I saw that he had three Purple Hearts. And I said, holy cow, Gunner, you got three Purple Hearts? And he said to me the manliest thing any man could say to another man. He said in his gruff voice, those there. Those are just enemy marksmanship ribbons. And I've never forgotten that. (laughs) That is brilliant. I thought that was amazing. It's the uh, 7th. It's National Purple Heart Day. Hey, once you get done with the strip club on the 4th for National Single Working Women's Day, do you know on the 8th it's National Dollar Day? They can't buy much for a dollar these days, that's for sure. Come to think of it, Out of all the ways we've been celebrating these national holidays or national days, Dollar Day is probably the easiest. Get you a couple of dollars, hand them out freely to random people. Hello, it's National Dollar Day. Here you go. If you got some dollar coins, do those, right? (laughs) I got a LOL. 
Yes. Yes, I'm winning. That's all I look forward to. Like uh, like the Lunds B Show, we guarantee one laugh per hour. Here, we're, we're talking 30 minutes max. So if we get half a laugh out of you, if we get an LOL out of you, we count that as a meeting our guarantee. On the 9th of August, three days after Hiroshima, what day do you think it is? That's right. It's a National Nagasaki Day. Did you know there were people in Hiroshima who survived the blast and three days later found themselves in Nagasaki where they survived the other blast? There's a cool Japanese word for these people of uh, double survivors, but uh, I don't remember what it is. Look it up. It's a true story. Oh, yeah. And we also leafleted the heck out of that city, letting them know they needed to get out because we were going to bomb it, too. Another known fact of American history, no one, or world history, no one tells you about. It's National Nagasaki Day on the 9th. On the 10th, next Saturday, somebody decided it'd be a good idea to make a proclamation for National Garage Sale Day on August the 10th. Can you get the sun a little closer? Who wants to do a garage sale in August? Not me. Too hot, is what I'm saying. But you can celebrate the garage sale. Yeah, I, what is it when your right hand, your right palm itches? Am I, am I getting money or company? I never remember. I'm, I'm all, and I'm always disappointed. Next Sunday. Uh, I don't know. I need context. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're commenting on or what I said that causes that comment. So I, I don't know what to say. Uh, next Sunday, here's one you didn't know you needed in your life. It's National Gay Uncle Day. Because everybody's got one. You may not know, but everybody's got a gay uncle. Everybody's got a gay uncle. <laughs> I got three brothers. All three of them are gay. So <laughs> some of them just gayer than others. It's National Gay Uncle Day. That's next Saturday. And that has been your national days of the week. Moving on.